What's good, y'all? This is your boy Calvin the Aquarius, and we're back with another video. The day before, we covered the North Node and Sagittarius, with the South Node being in Gemini. That was my North Node, that's my South Node. Yesterday, what we also covered was the North Node being in Leo, with the South Node being in Aquarius. Today, what we're covering is the North Node in Aries, a cardinal fire sign which deals with action and expression of that fire the rule of aries is mars with the south node being in libra the ruler of libra is venus and venus is a cardinal air sign that deals with communications thoughts and ideas let's get it going so when your north node is in Aries. The universe is asking you to do is to focus on the self, to focus on you, right? So we different colors today. The universe is asking you to focus on the self, right? Your personality. So, when we're dealing with the South Node, being at the South Node is in Libra, and Libra deals with others, it deals with the group of people. So, Libra deals with one-on-one, -on -one, communication, partnership the north node in Aries the cardinal fire which deals with the action and the expression so what the universe is asking you to do it is it's asking you to do excuse me is focus on yourself focus on your personality and also focus on your independence with the south node being in Libra Libra deals with luxury let me write it down luxury which would be luxurious cars, people who are, you know, beautiful or handsome or um, over, just overall good people, right? So this could be cars, this could be people, this could be food, because people like luxurious food or expensive foods. They have expensive taste, right? Homes. Venus deals with luxury. And if you look at the Venus symbol, the Venus symbol represents represents a mirror. It has a mirror type of look. Like a mirror that you hold up and look at the reflection of yourself, right? The rule of Aries is the self. This is your combative side. This is also the symbol that the car company, Volvo, uses. They use the Aries symbol. That was a, a random Easter egg or a random fact that you most likely know. No. God bless you. thing that the North Node and Aries wants you to do wants you to deal with and to focus more on is being assertive right with the 
South Note being an Aries, excuse me, with the South Note being a Libra, a lot of the times what you did when you dealt with the others or dealt with your business partners, your girlfriends, whoever it may be, you put more energy because Mars deals with energy as well. put more energy into the other side and in return you may have not got that same love because Venus also deals with love right you might not have received that same love in return or you may have gave that same you may have gave that love you ever hear that saying where they say you can't love anybody more than you love yourself. Well, the universe is asking you to love yourself. Okay? It's asking you to focus on yourself. Take that same love that you had for others that you did in the past, right? And bring that to yourself. Focus on yourself. So, you gotta worry about yourself. And the personality, how you present, how you present yourself, who you are, you know what I'm saying? And I want you to focus on your independence. I want you to focus on being you and focusing on you and worry about you. You, right? Aries deals with self, it's you. Libra deals with others, the other side of the table. Aries wants you to be assertive and to put energy into your assertion. My bad, you guys. So, another thing that Aries wants you to also focus on is being enterprising, right? Beginning an enterprise, we think of. I'm gonna put a slash right here. We think of an entrepreneur. We think of an entrepreneur, right? The entrepreneurship. Being an entrepreneur is not easy, but in this case. The universe is asking you to apply your entrepreneurship skills to yourself and not so much to others in business because a lot of the times people can steal your ideas or you can write something down and they'll copy you. A lot of times people don't know how to put things into their own words. So they rely on yourself. They rely on you. They rely on you to help them get through to the next level or to the next course in their business endeavors. The South Node. Another thing that Libra also does, you know, deals with. I'm oh, sorry. It deals with contracts. Agreements. It deals with contracts or agreements. The North Node is asking you to be an entrepreneur, to start your own business, to do you. business thank you to be you in the past you did contracts and agreements and signed these deals with people 
and may not have understood that you was only getting 30% out of a 70% deal or negotiation. Universe is saying, forget all that. You can take the 70 and the 30% when you focus on yourself and begin your own company, begin your own brand, begin focusing on you, worrying about yourself, right? And also, before I go back to Aries, the North Node being in Aries, the South Node and Libra also deals with the law, justice, and self respect. And the only reason why I would apply self-respect to Libra is because other people that you deal with have respect for themselves but they may not have they may not have the same respect that you have for you so we put self respect All right and what I'm gonna put over here for the North North being the Aries is self neglect so that you get it and, and, and that you understand that you have to apply the same energy and the, the same focus that you put into others for yourself. So you see how that works? Because now that you understand, damn, I have been neglecting myself. I have been focusing on others. I have been worrying about what others have going on in their business deals, their partnerships. And I'm teaching them how to respect themselves, how to how to better on themselves, how to get what they want. So now that we do know that, what we're gonna do is is we're gonna take self respect and we're gonna put it over here because the whole idea is not to neglect yourself right and also with the contract and agreements you want to read the fine print Wanna, you want to make sure that you're reading everything. With contracts and agreements, you want to read the fine print. Because a lot of times, what happens is, is that people read contracts, or they don't even read the contracts. They, they just sign them. They just sign their they life away. The universe doesn't want you to do that anymore. The universe wants you to take what you learn from the Libra side of life and qualities and skills and apply it to yourself because you know the business you know what's going on people may not want you to leave and begin your own law firm or your own business or go into enterprise for yourself because you now become their competition because you know if no is an Aries you have to worry about yourself personality, how you come across to others, the independence, worrying about you, and being independent, being a leader, being being an empowering anger, being a force. You have to be empowering. Because it's hard to be empowering if you don't know your worth. When you know your worth, Nobody can tell you anything different. You have to be assertive and you have to give energy to your projects. And depending on where the North Node in Aries, which is a cardinal fire sign, which deals with action and expression, with the rulership over Aries being Mars, what you have to do is look in your chart, look at the houses, see what house. Your north node, your north node, this part right here, is in. 
in Aries. And that'll tell you everything that you need to understand and need to appreciate and learn about yourself. Because Aries is about the self. This is about learning about yourself. You have to be enterprising. You have to be an entrepreneur. You have to begin your business. And it's also about self-respect. Right? People don't know they work to get a ticket advantage of all the time. I'm a Libra ascendant, so I know. Like, I can see when other people are trying to devalue who I am or trying to take away from who I am. You know what I'm saying? But we'll get into that later on. With the South Node being in Libra, Libra deals with one on one communication slash partnerships. It deals with luxurious items or luxurious things such as cars. People who deal who deal and love luxury or who are in the finance market who, who who showcase their wealth, right? Food that could be like parfaits, that could be like in a, a high-end Chinese restaurant, a Thai-end restaurant, and this could be homes, and it could also be hotels as well, because these are all luxurious things that people enjoy and would prefer to have versus not having that <laughs> Venus deals with love and Libra deals with love overall because it's about the love of the self if you love yourself you'll take care of yourself when you love yourself and people see that they love you I have a Venus in Aries so I understand I get it <laughs> Libra also deals with Contracts slash agreements. You have to read the fine print. And you have to be able to know how to negotiate your deal and know how to negotiate your business. Right? If something doesn't sound like it's gonna work in your favor and it's gonna work in the other's favor, you gotta cut that deal. And you gotta go shop around to other stores or other businesses or other startups and get what's rightfully yours. Libra also deals with law, knowing the law, understanding the law, with the lawyers or the attorneys, and deals with justice. Law and justice work hand in hand. Now this could be justice in the sense of if somebody was done wrong, then you strike back. You know what I'm saying? But it's about balance with Libra. So you don't want to Try to be a superhero or captain, excuse my language, captain, save all. You can't save everybody. And this applies for males and females. Females can't save everybody because Venus is a feminine energy. Mars is a masculine energy. Okay? And this deals with also gaining your self-respect out of dealing with others. And when you gain your self-respect out of dealing with others, people begin to respect the self, begin to respect you, and you also gain self-respect out of this. So what the universe is asking you to do is to bring these two worlds together, okay? So, as I mentioned before, this is a cardinal air sign, thoughts and ideas, thoughts and ideas to deal with others, and this is action and expression, okay? Show you something. So let's just say this is your ascendant. Okay. This is your mid heaven. This is your IC. This is your descendant. Right? The ascendant is you. Let's just say Aries is your ascendant. And Libra is your descendant. This is the other side of the table. This is the other side of the business table, the, the round table, right? Let's put Aries here. Let's put Libra here. Let's put Capricorn up here. Let's put Cancer down here, right? Okay. 
Now, Ari deals with self, but they also respect the independence of others as well, right? Enough knows in Aries, and you have to go from being on this side where the South Node is at and move toward this side. Not the Ascendant, but you get what I'm saying. The South Node, gotta step out of this energy a little bit and dive into this energy more. You gotta get in your bag, you You gotta get in your bag. You gotta go from here to here. Don't worry about the DC, the, the MC, the IC, and the Ascendant. Don't worry about that right now. We're gonna get to that soon, trust me. But you wanna take what you learn over here from the Libra side and bring it over to the Aries, to yourself. You wanna take what you learn from others and apply it to yourself, okay? Because with other people, where do they make sure that they secure? They make sure that they secure the bag, right? Others, make sure that they get theirs. That they Secure the bag, right? Others make sure that they get theirs, right? Why? Because if they do good business, they can take care of the home. If they're able to provide, they can take care of their family, right? This is about initiating. This is about init them initi initiating the negotiation, working with you. It's their responsibility to take care of their home. Because if you take care of the home and provide for the home, the home will take care of you. They get their money, their resources, do good business, and take care of the home, the home will take care of them. See what I'm saying? This is you. This is your home. This is the other people that you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. 365 days a year. And what, 366 three, on the week, yeah, right? And this is the business. You gotta know the business side of whatever field that you're going into. Let me, let me erase those. Okay? So this, you know, take what you learn from doing business with people one-on-one -on -one and reading the contracts and the agreements and the fine print and apply that to yourself. Okay. And then when other people come to you and ask you, how did you do that? How did you do that? And they were asking you, yourself, you. And they ask you how you did that. You teach them the steps, you show them the ropes, okay? Because there are gonna be people out here that don't know the business, that don't know the game. Your job is to get into the game, learn the business, because business is ruthless. No matter how you want to look at it, it's cold, it's ruthless. People step on people's toes all the time, and that's the lever side. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got I ain't seen with the uh, Scorpio eighth house at the end, but we gonna get to that. Um, business is cold, man. People get their feet stuck on all the time, right? But it's up to you to protect your energy, which is cancer. Protect yourself. Protect yourself, right? Because others do business from a business-like mentality. So let me erase this. in your chart, see where it's at. That's where you gotta be a certified. Okay? Mars. The rule. Which is ruled by all rules Aries. Is your north node. And your south node. Which is Venus. I told you, Venus looks like a mirror. Okay? 
Venus, which is ruled by Libra. And this is this is one side of the Mars. This is the daytime side of Mars and um, excuse me, this is the daytime side of Mars and for Venus this is the daytime side for Venus Libra Libra is the daytime side of Venus sorry but South Node is in your South Node is in Libra check to see where your Venus is at look in what house to see where your Venus is located but but you want to go in the direction of your North Node you gotta get out your comfort zone and enter your uncomfortable zone. Enter the area that makes you feel most vulnerable. In your comfort zone, get vulnerable. Okay? Don't worry about the other people. You've been around them. You've seen what they do. You see how they operate. You know how they move. Okay? Apply it to your independence. Apply it to yourself. Okay? And take care of your body because the first house or Aries itself deals with the body. Okay? So cut it short with them. Do 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 business accordingly. That's what I'm saying. Because a lot of people that operate in the Libra, the Libra uh side of life, they do when they do business, they keep you at all at arms, you know, arms reach distance. They don't really get too close to you. Unless it's some money involved behind it. Or unless they can get something out of you. They can retain some value out of you. Because Venus also deals with value. Values. Whether that's personal values. Or whether that's materialistic values. Okay? It's going to be real. So the, the, the values that they would, you know draw from you it can be personal or it could be material and that material falls back to everything that's luxury and it falls back to love because to love somebody that has to come from your heart and that has to come from your soul you know what I'm saying so take everything from over here and apply it over here to you okay aggression for the North Node in Aries. Be aggressive, but be aggressive in a nice way, because when you do business, or when you go to court, or you know, getting married, you're getting married out of the strength of aggression, right? Because if you really love somebody, or if you're at court, you gotta have respect for the, the judge, or when you're doing contracts, people be being nice. You see it all the time. People not to put the mask on to get what they want, to get what they desire, because Venus deals with your desires and getting what she wants, right? And Mars is aggressive. If people see that they can't get what they want out of you, out of you, then they're gonna fall back and change directions and go do business in another space. But the whole game and the whole idea is to be assertive in a nice way. Be assertive. Be real when you're being assertive too. Because people also like that as well. They like when you're being transparent and being upfront. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. Head here. Go in the direction of your north node in Aries. Go that way. Stay from over here. But Learn what you need to from over here. Learn what you need to from over here. From working with others. Learn everything that you can. Because when you learn from others, you learn from 
dealing with people, other people, you empower yourself. Okay? So, this is your boy Calvin the Aquarius. I'm about to get into the life path numbers. I got a lot that I want to, you know, get out of information, but I'm about to get to the life path numbers. So, it's been real, and I'll be right back.